Arbitration can be a cost-effective way to solve many problems. In Eastern Associated Coal Corporation versus United Mine Workers, District 17, we'll explore when arbitration awards can be deemed unenforceable as against public policy. Eastern Associated Coal Corporation and the United Mine Workers of America Union had a collective bargaining agreement stipulating that, to discharge an employee, Eastern had to prove just cause for the discharge during arbitration. If Eastern failed to prove just cause, the employee would be reinstated. The arbitrator's decisions were final. James Smith worked for Eastern as a member of a road crew. Because the job required Smith to drive truck-like vehicles on highways, Smith had to comply with Department of Transportation regulations. These regulations required random drug testing of workers engaged in safety-sensitive tasks. When Smith tested positive for marijuana, Eastern attempted to discharge him but failed to prove just cause during arbitration. Instead of discharge, the arbitrator ordered Smith's reinstatement, provided that Smith accepted an unpaid suspension, participated in a substance abuse program, and underwent drug tests at Eastern's discretion for five years. Over the next year, Smith failed another test. The arbitrator again found that Eastern lacked just cause, given that Smith had been a good employee for 17 years and had contributing family problems. The arbitrator ordered reinstatement, provided that, following a longer unpaid suspension, Smith reimburse Eastern for arbitration, continue substance abuse counseling, undergo random drug testing, and provide Eastern with a signed, undated letter of resignation that would take effect if Smith tested positive again in the next five years. Eastern filed suit in the United States District Court for the Southern District of West Virginia, arguing that the award was against public policy given the safety concerns. Although the District Court acknowledged the public policy concerns, it ordered the award's enforcement. Eastern appealed to the Fourth Circuit, which affirmed the District Court. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.